So a quick introduction to Qt Linguist for the um, Mac. Um, so you're going to need to download, uh, a, well at the time of filming this is the latest, very latest version, so 5.12. Um, I'll provide a link um, to the actual Git, GitHub kind of repository in order to download that. So yeah, just go through the process. Download the latest version, and then you get the um, you know, the pop-up screen. Drag it over to Applications, uh, and then uh, it'll go direct to your uh, to your launch pad. Um, I actually ended up going into Finder and then Applications uh, in order to actually open up the program. So the problem is because it's been downloaded and it's not an official piece of Mac software, you need to go through some of the uh, sort of security and privacy settings. So yeah, first you'll need to go into applications or um, yeah, go via uh, Launchpad. It'll tell you that it won't open it up, and then um, you'll need to yeah, sort of close those windows down, and then go um, direct to the settings page. Then that allows you to um, go into security and privacy, um, and from there you go to the general tab, and then it tells you yeah, this, you tried to open up this piece of software. Are you really sure that you want to do this? Um, then you just go through the process of allowing it to do so, and then that's um, the Qt Linguist software uh, installed. So once it's installed, um, then you're able to open up um, the language files that will be sent to you um, via via the company. Um, so they're all .ts files. Um, so yeah, as an example, we've got French, uh, German, and Spanish here. Um, and you can upload multiple files at the same time to the same window. So this is what, what's shown on this screen. Um, yeah, so each one of those line items um, needs to be sort of selected and then translations for each of the languages um, added in. So there may well be some comments within each one of those language variants as well if there's uh, additional information required like um, uh, restrictions on the number of characters that can be used or perhaps sort of um, maybe so, uh, what some of the words might mean specific to our device. Uh, so yeah, if, if those are required, then they, they will be added. So yeah, um, yeah, each one of those uh, items is added, and then once you're happy with them, um, then the green tick on the top bar is sort of pressed in order to show that that's, that's been added. Okay, so hopefully that's useful. Um, if there's any additional information that's required, please um, don't hesitate to contact me and I'm happy to, to, to go through any of that stuff with you. Uh, so as mentioned, this is just for the Mac. Um, there's obviously a very similar version for the Windows, um, which we can go through as well. Thanks. Bye.